guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another episode of Victoria 2, Heart of Darkness, Spain. <clears throat> now, where we last left off, things were falling apart, which is not unusual for this campaign, so at least that's, you know, not, not weird. Um, we're about to be replaced by the glorious and very strong nation of Australia. And, yeah, with 15 years left, I'm desperately trying to figure out a way to keep our great power status. And I'm not really sure what we can do to go about that. Um, we will need to rebuild our navy. Which might just help us gain back some of our military power score and put us ahead of Australia. If we look at the differences, I don't think they're that much. So, uh, ba, 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 ba. they've got a total of 855, and we're sitting at 768. Now, they've got much better industry. We're kicking their ass on prestige, and we do have a bigger... Oh, no, they've got a bigger military. So, because we're kicking their ass on prestige, if we get a better military than them, we should be sitting pretty. What's the best way to get a... Oh, oh no, those are in Asia, right? Pretty sure? Good. Okay. We're going to go with um, some cruisers and a couple of battleships. I think four should be good. One, two, three, four. And then we'll see where that sits us in a couple of years. Ecuador does not make our sphere look all that great. Doesn't really matter because, hey, that's not going to change. Um, is there something we can do to keep our... Oh, I guess we don't have an African army anymore, do we? All right. Then let's go about building up one of them, because that should be pretty quick. So we're going to want to get some infantry. And we will take Canary Islands out, first off. And we'll take, what do we got there? 22, so 11 of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There we go. And we will replace that with artillery while we take one out and make it an engineer. There we go. Now, hopefully... Uh, we won't get too many issues with that. Uh, but I think Sokoto, it's in our sphere. We would probably be able... Yeah, and we got military access. So, that's fine by me. Let's see how that's going to work out. And we got our Asian military doing just fine. Spanish communists. Let's pause this, because things are going to get a little cray-cray. Okay, yeah, we got quite a few of them. Hunt rebels. In fact, can we just do that to everybody? No, we've got to individually select them. Oh dear, that's not looking good. Oh dear, these are a lot of communists. Just after a great war, I'm not sure how well I'll be able to fight these, uh, these jerks off. Let's just check the colonies. That's lost. That's absolutely lost. Um, Africa is looking clean. No communists in Africa, and hopefully none in Asia either. Nope. Good. All right. So that's a shame about Haiti, but, you know, we'll get someone over there eventually, I think. <laughs> okay. Now, let's just pause this, because we need to send you guys rebel hunting. Perfect. There we go. And so, let's speed this up a little bit more. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to take care of all these damn communists. Make Ronald Reagan proud again. Yeah, you're in no condition to fight, apparently. Uh, who cares? I, I guess I, I care for my choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Great. 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 Wonderful. Awesome. 
So it looks like they were able to capture one province, but for the most part, the Red Army has been defeated. We are victorious. Which is good. I don't know why I felt I had to go to Cordoba, but hey, I did. Now we got our trenches up, which is wonderful. Perfect. Now you've got your armor, and you're all set, so we can put you on rebel hunting as well. Not that it'll matter. Now I'm hoping I set up my naval things. Let's see. Oh, well, we can take that off. They're all going to Bonin, or where did I set them? Bonnie? I usually set it to Bonnie. Yep. Looks like we got a few up there. That won't be a problem, though. Make sure we're not doing anything silly like building on the islands. Oh, we are. Hmm. What are you? Spanish artillery? We'll just have to do without you. And let's head over to Asia. What do we got there? A couple of transports. Good. So it looks like they are all headed. No, they are definitely not all headed there. Hmm. There goes a. That's fine. Bonnie, that's fine. Yeah. Let's. See, my concern if I set this here is that those cruisers and battleships will come over to Asia as well, and I really don't want that. I know that's not going to happen with infantry, but I'm not sure really how it works with naval units. So perhaps I'll just have to keep my eye on it and, you know, work it accordingly. We got enough clerks there? Okay, so we're going to remove that focus. And instead, I guess we could take a look at this, right? Was it, no, it was in the population tab. With all of these to look at. <laughs> um, so it's mostly farmers. Uh, yeah, like, craftsman is only 8%. So I don't think that that's going to be... Yeah, we're still, we're still really an agrarian economy, aren't we? Yep. Hmm. Well, that's not good. All right. Well, if we're still an agrarian economy, a place like Granada could use some aristocrats. Why not? Right? Because <laughs> it's already 2% of the population. Don't think I need that many aristocrats. Not in the 20th century. Oh, well. Not like it really matters. Okay, and I'm guessing you're going back there. You can instead go to Pamplona. Good. You are chilling to recoup your losses, as are you, and you guys are sitting pretty. Wonderful. Your cruiser done. Excellent. We got some newspapers to catch up on. Velociraptors in Mongolia. What else happened? What happened in April? The Chinese Empire is at war with Mongolia. It's over the raptors. Pretty sure that's what happened. They discovered raptors, and then the Chinese were like, hold on a second, we need that. So they went to war for that. That makes sense. Um, hey, we got some victory over rebel troops. That's what I'm talking about. Print that. Print it all. And, of course, that's concerning, that the Italians and the Russians are buddy-buddy. But I have a feeling, um, you know, we're, we're not competing with Italy, that's for sure. Let's get these guys moving up to... Where do I want to set them? We'll put them there. That looks fun. There we go. Set sail, cruisers. Steel alloys, wonderful. Did I really just build them all in the same spot? That seems silly. Yay, airplane factory! Okay. Let's see where we can slap one of those down. Where have we got out of work people? Uh, I think Valencia could do with an airplane factory, because why not? There we go. And what do 
we got. Yeah, those are still going along nicely. Thank you. So we got an airplane factory before we finished aeronautics. I like it. Ah, uh, commerce. Whew. Things I never bothered to research. Um, we'll just stick with industry. <laughs> hey, with, with airplanes and cars, Spain's going to need some better roads. Although, really, I think that that will equate to just more rail. Oh, no, look at that. We got some modern railroads up in Spain. Celebration of freedom. People are getting along just fine in at least one of our provinces, it seems. A local political deadlock that has persisted in one of our states since the last election has been resolved in a compromise across party lines. With a compromise reached, the local political assemblies can get back to work. Locals are taking to the streets, celebrating the event as a great victory for democracy, and recalling those immortal words by Friedrich Schiller, Joy, beautiful sparkle of the gods, daughter of Elysium, all men become brothers, where your tender wing lingers. Um, in Spanish West Morocco, wonderful. There couldn't be a state that's smaller. Or unless that is Spanish West Morocco. Even better, the Canary Islands. Things are going fine on the Canary Islands. How's this coming along? I mean, we're looking pretty good. It looks like the troops can actually cross, which is helpful. Um, yeah, a loss of militancy would be great, even if it means a lot of socialists in the upper house. I'm okay with that. Ah, uh, give us the prestige. Let's see. Point one, point oh oh one for a year. No. No, we'll take the big prestige plus the little prestige. And now we're fifth for prestige. Come on, how can we become a secondary power when we're like the fifth most coolest nation in the world? Just craziness. Okay, well, while we're at it, not that I think it's ever going to come back, but where is Portugal? Okay, uh, we're not a great power, so we can't influence. So we're stuck with that until we're a great power when Britain will limit us on day one. Oh, well. Ooh, we're making a lot of money here, aren't we? <laughs> okay, and now we can cut taxes. Can we? It seems like we're losing a fair bit of money. Maybe just 80% then? Oh. What could we be losing money on? I mean, it doesn't say we're losing money, so we're good. That's how I'm reading that anyway. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We can send another guy down there and another guy over here. Well, lazy natives. There we go. Uh, limited citizenship, as always. There we go. Look at that. Look at that fleet of great warships. And how's that looking? Merge those guys and send all three down there. That'll be the 12 that I ordered. Perfect. And that should be able to move that guy around. Wonderful. Without the annoying use of wind power, I might add. Uh, it's not political. And yeah. So we'll just keep those going. Keep this going. Got our African military nice and big. And our military score is still not high enough. Uh, pro-military, thank you. So, quite obviously, we're going to need... Oh, we ran out of battleship names. That's too bad. We should have another battleship being built. Apparently we don't. Oh, oh yes, I should. 
now that I've got a navy I can use to transport people, we should go take care of the communist uprising in Haiti. How bad is it? 20. Go back over here. We might need to fund the military a bit more to do this. How about we do that in the budget screen? That sounds like a good idea. 50 should be enough. War veterans, disgruntled with what they see as the failures of capitalism and liberal democracy, have formed a Free Corps, an ideological and paramilitary organization ostensibly existing to protect the state and homeland, while de facto promoting a fascist political agenda in one of our states. The Corps has already begun flexing its muscle in local politics, threatening several liberal politicians and maintaining a fairly intimidating, uniformed presence in the state. Let them prance about if they absolutely must. Or, prevent the organization. No, prancing. Prancing fascists. Limited citizenship. Even though most of the people there wanted to not limit citizenship. Really? I thought... What? Where's the... Damn it. Get off your boats. We'll wait for the last one to get here. we go. Now we can merge that together. Quickly clear out the newspapers. An end to beards? I certainly hope not. A beard is the greatest invention of all mankind. If you don't agree with me, you don't live in a country that's cold enough to require a beard. There we go. Sail on through Panama. I'm sure the U.S. will let us in. Uh, state capitalism. Man, look at our population. People are leaving, that's for sure. Uh, take its own course. You guys are going to go free trade anyway. Da -da 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 -da. Limited citizenship. Victoria, man, the soundtrack to this game, it's great. It's, in my humble opinion, the best soundtrack in a Paradox game. Trouble is brewing. Well, it's a good thing I'm not allied to any great powers. Hey. Uh, workhouse, let's see. Hope the issue dissipates. Back the liberals... Back conservatives. I mean, either way, we're pissing people off. So, back liberals. Why not? Oh, reactionaries. All right, let's let's just take a look at this quickly. What have we got here? Union liberation movement. Suppress that. We don't care about that. Haitian liberation and cotillion. No. Uh, minimum wage movement. We can get rid of you guys pretty easily by saying, where is it? There you go. Look at that. Now you guys should be fine. Campaign for old age security. And no, nope, there we go. Ah, ba, 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 pro military. Liberal and anarcho liberals. That's my own fault, I'm sure. Uh, has this been affected yet? It doesn't look like it, so that's good. We'll have a chance to go back to our Union Liberals. Here we go. Obviously, when people are selecting Liberals, I want them to pick the blue ones. Uh, who is that with? Denmark. First off, where does Denmark have colonies? Nope. I am pretty impressed that Denmark has some colonies, so completely unexpected. Okay, that is taken care of.
Might as well just finish you guys off. Die, commies. Perfect. And now the slow process of that thing. We can at least drop that to like 10%. There we go. And why are my industries complaining? Was it the day of liberalism? I'm sorry. I really am. Anything else closed down? No? Okay, it was just an it was just a munitions factory, that's fine. Oh dear, Spanish Andalusia, you need some workers to do things. Telephone factory, perfect. I don't believe we have one of those, and we do not. So now people will be able to phone each other and communicate. New stores. Okay. How is this bubbling up anyway? So we got Japan with China on their side <laughs> against Italy with Russia and the Germans. Who replaced me? Australia. Come on, Australia, get involved. <laughs> we can't act. Just keep drinking. So, shall we host a colonial exposition? A delegation representing the leading commercial and manufacturing interests in our empire have proposed holding a colonial exposition in our capital. Holding such an event would provide an excellent opportunity to showcase the economic and cultural wealth of our colonies, could significantly help our exports by popularizing the goods produced in our empire, and further strengthen the support for our empire among our citizens at home. It's an excellent idea. Yes. And while that's going on, let's catch up on the news. Ah, white piece, that's too bad. And there we go. A revolution in Colombia. Poor Colombia. But it looks like the revolution is at least spreading outside into Grand Colombia. So that's a thing. That's a step in the right direction. It looks like we've lost a steamer factory. You can continue to be subsidized. Did we ever get an automobile factory? Doesn't look like it. It's because we haven't discovered how to build them yet. We can build airplanes, but not cars. We can send you there. Yes, blockade that port. It should speed things up. Our empire and the world has come to our capital to celebrate this colonial exposition, with pavilions from our various colonies and several different buildings and marvels highlighting the importance of our economic and cultural mission to the visitors from both home and abroad. Yay, more prestige! It's about all that Spain has going for it at the moment. Hop in your boat and head back to... Uh, we'll go Brunei, and you can go there, too. Happy days. All right. It's taking forever for you guys to recoup your losses. Like, seriously. Oh, that would be why. Oh, France has fallen apart again. What have they got now? French Citizen Guards. They have not had an easy time of it. I'm not feeling so bad about the, um, the horrible display that Spain's been on compared to how France has fallen apart. I'm a-okay with it. Warpatine, Sokoto, and the Wadi Kingdom? Really? What is Sokoto doing going to war? Uh, form alliance? They will accept. Perfect. Call me into the damn war. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. That's all it is? Perfect. Now where the hell is the Wadi Kingdom? 
Oh, it's right there. <laughs> well, you go, Sakoto. The Falange is asserting its power both on the streets and in the upper house. Several conservative members of parliament are, by hook or by crook, considering defections to the fascist faction, and preventing the, these reshufflings will doubtlessly lead to an increase in fascist militancy. We're going to do nothing. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, suppress that. Considering our sort of win in the Great War, that's making a lot of sense. Voting fraud. They won fair and square, right? Yes. Okay. What I am going to do is build some more cruisers and a couple more battleships, I think. Uh, we'll go with... There we go. Oh, that last one put me over. So can we get a couple more cruisers in? We can get two more cruisers in. Perfect. Should be a good fleet. I mean, it probably really isn't. <laughs> Not if you compare it to actual real fleets in the world, but hey, it's good for Spain. It is, I ask, of this government. Is it? Apologies. I ask of this government. Right. That a man with a life of hard and honest work behind him should be left without aid or assistance merely on account of the whims of fate. A farmer in one of our states has had a near-fatal threshing accident, which has left him permanently disabled and disfigured. The case has been brought to the national scene in parliamentary debate over the Spanish pension system, where reform-minded MPs have used the case as a bat with which to beat the government for not doing more to help the old and disabled. I guess we could force it through, but that'll piss off some people. Ignoring it will piss off some people. And we could just do that. And then do this. Trinket pensions is what you people want. Uh, eventually, thank you. Trinket trinket pensions. There you go. Have your things. Mere trinkets. Yay! Electrification. Wonderful. Uh, let's see. What else do we want to do? Yeah, shift work. Why not? Considering that we're still a mainly agrarian economy, or at least a primary resource economy. Gavin, you don't need those guys anymore. But I'm betting South Cameroon could probably use some. Yep, they could. Is there anything else over here? There is these little countries that I could go to war with, I suppose. I'm not sure how much it would add to the good old empire. Yeah, we're going to need another... Oh, excuse me. Another thingy. Requires a port of level 1. Fine. Give me another thingy. There we go. What is it? 12. And if we were to say, thank you, uh, conquest, 22. Woo! That's a lot. Okay, what about these guys? I have a feeling it'll be the same. Right? 22. We could make it a puppet. That seemed to work all right for Cuba. And I realize it won't be in my sphere, but I don't have a sphere to put them in. So there's that. Hmm. For only 10? Yes, let's do that. And then I guess I don't really need another transport, but it'll be good to have. Just in case. And budget... Let's bring that back up to 50%. Yeah. I learned my lesson about marching an army through mountains and crap. Hmm. Perfect. Been waiting for that. 
Um, you're going to get a telephone factory soon, so who all is out of work? That really picked up. Granada. Yeah, Granada doesn't really have much in the way of industry, so automobile factory. Let's do it. Let's do it to it, guys. Perfect. You can go up over there. Wonderful. Yes, get ready. Get ready for that war that's coming. We're going to need to raise some taxes. Three infamy, that ain't anything. I'm, whoa. You're moving quickly, aren't you? There we go. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about that. Thank you. But I would imagine that such a country doesn't have much in the way of loans. 18 pounds. That's not worth it. Not worth it at all. And that is about it. Okay, hunting is just part of the circle of life. Give me more prestige. Yes, we're almost there. Perfect. Declare a war. Let's just make sure that you don't have any allies, right? No, you don't. Perfect. Make a puppet. Do I have any allies to call? Unlikely and unlikely. Proceed. And neutral cordial with Japan, so they might get involved, but we'll see. Easy peasy. Oh, we took care of a rebel problem for them as well. And thankfully the occupation is going to be quick. First tractors, wonderful. you. Check up on the news. Revolution in Grand Columbia. Reactionaries. There we go. On to the last one. And I don't imagine you're all that keen on peace yet. No. Gotta conquer all of you. Right? That's... Oh, perfect. Proceed. Thank you. Head on back up to Brunei, and we can cut our production, or our budget. There we go. We'll drop that down to 10%. Perfect. And, yeah, we can drop taxes down to 70. Why not? Perfect. No loans taken. We're sitting pretty. <laughs> Open, subsidize. That's it. Good. All right. So we got a couple of puppet governments. That's wonderful. Uh, these guys would probably, if we go conquest, yeah, that's still a lot. So we could make them a puppet too, really. That's about our only option. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? <gasps> State in South Cameroon. Yay! That shot our prestige up a bit. Yeah. Provence. <laughs> I don't blame them. I hope that they want freedom, really. Oh, no, okay. I don't think they're going to find any support for that. Yeah. 
Nobody wants to give France land. And I understand why, but, you know, it's just it's sad to see the mighty fall this way. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we got some, some spare ships kicking around here. Let's add them back into the fleet. And for some reason, those Austrians are still chilling in Gibraltar. I don't get it. Of course, I've never been there, so I mean, it could be one of the nicest places in the world. And then why would why would you want to leave that? You'd be crazy to leave that. <laughs> and let's get shift work done now. Wonderful. Um, ba -ba -ba. Maybe something like that would be good. Mass politics. That'll help the fascists out. And... I think that that will be a good place to leave the video. Unfortunately, these la <laughs> this last little bit, man, it's taken a long time to get through. I'm not sure why, really. Um, there's just too much to do, I guess. Oh, look at that. They are a fascist dictatorship now. France has gone fascist. Uh, it's not illegal. So let's see if we can join them in sort of a fascist power block. Although, strangely, I don't... Oh, I could. Hmm... That is kind of tempting. To just, just put the fascists in? What's our politics looking like? Yeah, I mean, 13%. That's definitely not big enough. Definitely not big enough. But it certainly would be interesting. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. The phalange. Perfect. Now, the question is, will it change my government type? Because right now it doesn't look like it's going to. We can't enact political reforms, but that seems to be about it. And yeah, there's no change to a government. So we are not a fascist dictatorship. We are still a constitutional monarchy just run by fascists. Who knew? Anyway... Uh, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.